welcome to the second 50 pounds of my 100 pound thread up bolt mixed clothing rescue box in collaboration with none other than Jen, who was also known on YouTube as Jenemy. My first box, if you watched, it wasn't that great. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that this box doesn't suck. I need a pick me up. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's up? My name is Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. Jen is awesome. For we became fast friends here on YouTube. And yeah, she's just, you know, my kind of people. She's my kind of people. Both of us text each other like, are you filming today? No, I don't want to put on makeup. Mm, I want to put on a bra. So my gosh, she's my spirit animal. <laughs> We're the same. She lives out in Utah. I'd love to go thrifting out there someday. Anyways, part two. This is... I'll link part one up here. I'll also link Jen's part one up here. So stay tuned to the end. We're gonna tell you how to enter to win five pounds. We're gonna give away 10 pounds total. I'm gonna give away five. She's gonna give away five. Just because we love you, that's why. Um, thank you to everyone who has commented about my mom and about my daughter over on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Just know I'm pushing forward. I'm pushing forward, taking one day at a time and Poshmark YouTube and the reselling community is a great distraction for me and it really helps me keep on keeping on, I'll tell ya. So I appreciate and love every single one of you. Sure, I've already cut it open. Here's the tissue paper right on top, I'll save that. Uh, if you watched my other video, I said my box came from Pennsylvania. I ordered it on September 18th. It came within a week-ish like 10 days probably, it came fast. If, I wouldn't have mind if it would have taken a lot longer, if it would have been better. That first one was not that good. But like I said, I need to sell 10 items, 10 items for $30 to make my money back. And there's a lot of items here, so. It doesn't look good on top. <laughs> okay, let's just do it. All right, first things first is something vintage and it has no tags. Am I surprised? Absolutely not. It says pale pink swing skirt. It's, it's kind of sheer. It's got a slip in it. There are no tags and there's a stain right on the bottom. There are no tags and it's stained. So we're not starting off with a bang. A bang. Okay. This is new in tags. Wings Hawaii. Alternative apparel, size small. It's this graphic sun tank. Like I might save that for the summer and list it then. We are moving out of that season, so I am not listing any more summer stuff. This is cute with this strap. What is this? Arc and Co. Size small. I don't know who Arc and Co. is. That's the good thing about these boxes because sometimes you learn more. I'm always learning. I don't know all the brands, just what I hear, what I see. But Ark and Kyle, it's got all these cute cutouts. It's like a really cute party dress. It's got floral embroidery and then a tight waist and then very shifty, really cute cocktail dress. Um, what size was that? Ark and Co. Where is that sold? Probably Nordstrom or... There was a huge hair in my mouth. Oh gosh, size small. It's a cute dress. I could probably definitely sell that. It's just right now, no one is going anywhere fancy. S-line black label. Well, I can tell you right now that whatever this is, is not any good because <laughs> the rhinestones around the neck are missing and they are tarnished like a yellow color. So junk. This. Worthington, ooh la la. It's a cute little leather jacket. I don't know if it's real leather, but it's cute. So, I mean, it's not, would I buy this at the store? No, but 
I have to take what I can get, right? So it's vegan leather. You know, little vegan leather moto type jacket, size medium. Okay, that'll sell. Like $25 maybe. I might be pushing it. <laughs> what is this? This is so heavy. I'm so agitated. Half of my stuff in the box is because all these heavy pieces they keep putting in here. Though, what is this? <laughs> Professional dry clean only. Rayon poly. Okay. It has an RN number, but it has no size and no brand. But look at this. I mean, it's all beads. It's a cardigan. It's so heavy. It feels like it's got metal in it. It's this open cardigan. Maybe it's something really expensive. But even if it is, is this in style anymore? I don't know. Maybe for New Year's. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what am I, seven pieces in or so and it's terrible? Is this guy now the last box went? I'm really slouching. I should sit up. Okay. This is size small. There, that's all it tells me. Size small, the tag, the size small looks like it's from China. There's no brand. What is up with this? I mean, it might help me out if I could at least made in China. Gosh, I'm good. 100% polyester. Yeah, there's no brand. It's like from the Wish app. Wow. <laughs> what is, wow, this is old. What is this? This is Michael Jackson's jacket. Okay, these are big, big uh, <laughs> linebacker shoulder patches. And then look at all this beading. I'm not saying that. That didn't take a lot of time because I'm sure it did. It's everywhere. It's all over this jacket. This thing is so heavy. ThreadUp decided to send me their heaviest item so that I would get heavy, crappy stuff, I think. There's no brand. There's no brand and there's no size. I know nothing. Oh my gosh. It's just, I know nothing. It could be something really nice, but I don't know because they don't tell. Oh, oh something new with tags. Forever 21. Lingerie separate black. Seamless. I don't know. Oh, this is like a, um, oh, this is like a little bodysuit, you know, it's a lingerie bodysuit. I would, like, you could wear this underneath your outfit to suck things in. I mean, that'll sell. Or I'll give it to my kid. Not that she needs to be wearing that risque stuff, but if she needs to suck things in, I totally understand. <laughs> Banana Republic. Extra, extra small. This looks like sheer polka dot. Tank. I'm not mad about it. I mean, I'm not excited either, but I sell Banana Republic. I just sold a... I sell shirts for like 18 and then like sweaters for 25. So, it's okay. What is this? This is broken. LA Coalition, size medium. This is like, it's not leather. Oh, it stinks. Gosh, it stinks. It smells like, I can't even tell you what it smells like. English! Polyurethane. I don't know. So, another vegan leather, but this is like a best. And it's not really black. It's like a gray. And it smells. And the the tag is coming off. Leticia, Leticia Rosa. Okay. There is a lot of stuff without things. And then when they do have things, I do not know them. Oh, this is broke. This coast elastane. I don't know. It would have had a clasp in the front. It's very dated. I mean, that's not going to sell anyways. Unless that brand is something fabulous, which I doubt. Oh boy, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? $300 I spent. 
Oh man, it's bad. Um, I will, pr I will never, ever do this again. I watched this one lady. This has no brand, you guys. It's no brand. I feel like someone made it in felt class. I mean, look at the buttons on this thing. It's this purple felt type of coat. No fabric, no brand. This is what I'm getting. No fabric, no brand, no size on almost every piece. I'm so mad. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive because it's a collab and I don't want the very first videos <laughs> Jen and I do together to be like Debbie Downer Central, but I'm just being honest. This is not good. This is not good and I'm not happy. Nothing has brands or sizes or contents. I don't even know what it is. So this it's like a bajillion times more work and then they're not even cute pieces to even do the work for. So it's like, what a waste. What a waste. I'm never, ever, ever going to order from Thread Up again. Ever. Unless I pick out the items myself. No more boxes for me. I have learned my lesson. White House Black Market, size 12. It's this floral tapestry curtain looking tube top. Um, at least it has a brand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. La -da -bum -bum -bum. A, New York. Size large. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Is this silk? It feels like silk. But I'm sure if it's silk, it's going to have a snag or something yeah this is definitely silk i can i can tell watch me be wrong or watch there not be a side uh, be a fabric tag 100 percent silk maybe that's something a new york let me show you the tag just in case you know a new york a good fabric at least maybe $25 unless it's something good okay what is this like you know how sometimes they don't have a tag up top I mean I'm talking these clothes don't have a tag up top and then inside anywhere this is some paisley pop over button up blouse there's no tags no size no brand nothing there's no information Oh, wrap around top by Mopoli. Mopoli. Yeah, this got on this came on Amazon. Oh gosh. This is what you're supposed to do with this. Except this is the black version. Wrap this all around all the parts. Dear God. <sighs> I'm trying to stay calm. It's a mystery. There's fun in a mystery, right? But at this point, there can't be enough good pieces in here to make up for the fact that it's been terrible. Not sisters. Like, not sisters. Like, K-N-O-T, like that. Like, not. <laughs> not sisters. Not sisters. These people have this dry clean, so what does that mean? This is like a, oh my gosh, it's got a huge bleach stain. Nope, that's how it goes. Right, it's not bleach. It's the cream flowers. So this is like a button-up peasant ruffle waist, ruffle hem, paisley floral type of tunic. I don't know. I've never heard of that brand of you. Have you? Have you heard of that brand? Oh my god, there's still so much in here and I'm so discouraged. <laughs> Speechless, size three. It's a Junior's brand, it's sold at Kohl's. This is a little black crochet dress, very tiny, like so tiny. God, my back. Oh, <sighs> okay. Ooh. Oh, Toby, I know this brand, Toby. So some of Toby stuff does good, some of it. But I've at least heard of that brand, and at least it has a brand. What I don't think it has is a size. So, Toby, it's this, like, green 
it's their dresses that do good and they don't even do that great green off the shoulder spaghetti strap it's got like this ruffle it doesn't look green but i promise it is it has crochet there it's, this is a toby label yep there's no size or fabric tag You can't make this up, can ya? What is this? Way in clothing co. Large, made in China. Way in. Yeah. Sounds about right. Way in. It's this one shoulder dress and it's so cheaply made that they didn't even put enough like sequins to cover the whole thing. You can see right through to where they're sewn on. It's not good. Okay. Pink, size medium. It's Victoria's Secret. It's just a plain gray tank top. All these little wispy hairs are really in my face. Oh God, something else with shoulder pads. <sighs> I can't take much more with shoulder pads. I love good vintage. Um, I like to pick it out myself though. Oh, this is silk. Okay, Carlisle, size 12, 100% silk. It's pretty dated though, but maybe this style of dated will come back, right? Will it? I don't know. It's like a button up silk blazer shirt jacket it's got a ton of snags all over it they're just everywhere it's garbage I have to scratch there's so much dust in this box like how many years has this been sitting there Talbot size large 56% Pima cotton I will wear this myself as an undershirt with a vest or something so Yay, something for me. Okay, J. Crew Black Label, so not factory. Size 2. This is cute. What is this? It's okay. It's like a sh leather. Pleather. And it's like two-tone, like blue and black leather sheath. Like a scuba. Scuba style with a slit up the back. Zips up. It's like a form-fitting, really heavy dress. Really heavy. I could sell that, maybe. I mean, J. Crew sells. I pick up J. Crew. I would not have picked up that dress because it would have been like $7. This is Nolly, size small. This is cute. That's a cute little tank top. That's fun. It's like a, I think, is Nolly a skateboarding brand? I think it is. And it like buttons up the back. That's cute. No size. Oh, it's Lucy. I could tell by that orange stripe down there. Okay, so Lucy, no size workout shirt. No size. It looks like a small medium. It's a medium. What is this? Oh, Eileen Fisher. <laughs> Yay! But guess what? It's a petite. Eileen Fisher petite. PP. Oh gosh. So Eileen Fisher PP. I don't know what the fabric is. But it's this. What is this? It's completely. What is this? It's completely sheer. See it? It's like ruffle. What is it? Like an overshirt? It's got these handkerchief hem. Is it silk? Is there a tag? That's the question. Here's a tag. Oh, it's been cut off. Of course it has. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but at least it's Eileen Fisher, and I don't see any holes. I and mean, maybe it'd be cute over like a white tank top or shirt. Well, there we go. We got one thing. <laughs> one decent brand. Okay, INC International Concepts. I mean, I've sold it. I. You know, it's not like it, do it doesn't sell, but it's not a, not going to get top dollar. It's a size two, 
paisley fun really bohemian type of dress here just like a straight shift dress that's okay raff raff riff raff straight raff i don't buy that huh it's, i'm kidding i know it's riff raff <laughs> not raff raff but okay raff raff i've never heard of that but this is really cute super cute very I wish it was showing up the actual green it is. It's like green, like a dark green with like a mossy green mixed in. All this crochet, see-through. Like It's like a kimono, a little boho piece. That'll be cute for fall. I've never heard of Raff Raff, so I'm assuming it's nothing. Yeah, the tag is completely in Chinese. And I don't read that, so. It's 100% something. Just don't know what those symbols mean. I wish I had a size. Oh. Okay, Marona. Size large. That's cute. It's just a tank top. It's a wrap peplum little tank. I mean, it's cute. It's going to sell for like $12. Ellie Tahari. Oh, okay. It's a size 6. It's a black sheath dress. Like it cinches in at the waist to flatter your figure. I don't, it's like linen, feels like linen. I don't know why I'm even looking for a tag like there's going to be one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if there was? Oh my gosh, there is. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, I'm right. The top of it is 92% silk and the bottom is 70% linen and viscose. I don't know. That's a good fabric blend. That might sell. I don't really like to sell that brand. Actually, it doesn't really like to sell. <laughs> so, Max Studio. This is cute. This is really cute. I don't see a size. So, it's a maxi dress, black and white stripe with this belted waist. Gosh, this is cute. I like this little maxi dress. But, we are moving away from summer. Size? Is there a size? No, but there's a style number, which means I'll be able to find a stock photo and see how cute it truly is. There's no size. This is definitely a small, though. I think. Yeah. That's cute. Probably like $25. What, what is this? You guys, my box has had so much beaded, bedazzled, sequin. What is this? Okay, so it's from the buckle has a $60 price tag on it and it's the brand Arc & Co. Hey, we just talked about Arc & Co. That was that dress. Okay, so now I know it's sold at the buckle. Look at that. I'm learning my own self. Okay, this is some crazy <laughs> Hi, <laughs> this is some crazy type of shirt you guys. I mean, it's literally weighs five pounds. So I would not want to get on a scale with this shirt on. Uh, open, like it splits back there, has that neck like that, that splits. I don't know, this is like real, I mean, this is definitely New Year's Eve, but it is new tag, so this is AGB Woman, size 1X. So it's plus size, at least it's a size, it's cute. So someone might like this little bohemian blouse. This has freaking deodorant all over it. Oh, it's splendid. I love this brand. This is Nui Tag, $68. It's a freaking brawl and it is so cute, but someone, okay, so brand new with tags, size large, splendid, $70 sports bra, okay, splendid studio. Someone tried it on, got their deodorant all over it, and yeah, now it's got deodorant all over it, but it's new with tags and it's everywhere. So I'm not going to be able to get that out. I guess I'm just going to have a new sports bra. But I could have probably sold that for 25 bucks. <laughs> I mean, unless I wash it, take the tags off. But then, you know, Helly Hansen. I know this. Helly Hansen. Designed and developed in Norway. Size large. So it's Helly Hansen down the side. It's this gray, like... I really like this shirt. I would definitely wear this all the time. Seems really comfortable. 
It's got these fun sleeves, super, super comfortable. Oh, and it has a really cute zipper up the back at the bottom. Mm, I might want it. It's size large. This is probably something good. It's probably worth a lot of money and that's what I want to keep. Isn't that funny? Okay, what are you? Leopard print, I like anything with the leopard print. Okay, give me a second, I gotta figure this out. Oh my. Okay, so it's leopard print, really super cute. It's got this ruching across the tummy. What is this? It feels like silk. <gasps> oh my gosh, it probably is silk. You know why? <sighs> oh, I've never found this one on my own. <sighs> You're doing great, Hope. You see, 3.1 Philip Lim, size four. It's leopard print. There, I do see some like makeup stains inside. I'm gonna have to really look this over. I pray to God that it's okay. I feel like it's completely see. Am I crazy? That is completely see through. Like, would you wear your bra with it, or did it fall down? Oh, I think it fell down. It did. This no. I did not. I'm so confused. Not gonna waste any time. It is, it's 100% silk. My question is, is I don't understand it. Because it literally is see-through, you guys. Sorry, I'm being really extra, but this is the best piece I've found in the whole box. Okay, so. What? So that's the back and this is the front. Coloring at the armpits. Okay, so I guess it's not as see-through in the front as it is in the back, but. I don't know, you go, I don't know. I don't understand these designers and their products. I feel like there's a few armpit stains, but it's leopard print, it's silk, it's Philip Lim. I mean, I'll have to look at the style, but I feel like mm, that could be 60 bucks, maybe. If I can figure out those, well, I'll just disclose the armpit stains. They can dry clean it themselves. That made me happy. So that and an Eileen Fisher. <laughs> Okay, this is Fila, gosh, it's like a army print, really wild tank, there's no size. Big surprise. What are you? What are you? Chic connection, size medium. Oh, okay, this is missing a belt. And it's like a off the shoulder, midi but it's open and like the front shows through like so the dress is short and then it long does that make sense it's a cute dress but it's missing the belt and we're not in summer anymore summer's over guys it's fall and i'm so excited okay this is called my tie i'm way too far back to show tags m-a-i-t-a-i -I -I. i'm so sorry plus these videos are already going to be eight hours each just this really plain tea back tank. There's no size. Oh my gosh, I've got to hurry. How many minutes are we? Oh, 33. Whew. If I showed tags, we'd be at four hours each video. I know what you're thinking. Well, if you'd shut up. <laughs> okay, there's no tag. There was a tag. It tells me it's 100% viscose, but there's no brand. This is a skirt. It's Forever 21. <laughs> oh. I mean, this stuff is not even, it's not even cute. It'd be different if it was, if it was, had no tags and no brands and it was all really cute. Okay, no tag, no brand. It's the sheer, ruffle blouse here are some new simply noel tall boot socks from nordstrom with pom-pom pom-poms on them those are cute this is banana republic boot cut size 31 or a 12 regular these Banana Republic jeans, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Oh, 
on the road on the road again <laughs> on the road this is a cute little tunic probably sold at tj maxx but it's very lagging looking i hope maybe this is good wouldn't that be exciting very lagging looking it's got these long drapey long line pockets it's lined it is very lagging looking it's probably just like polyester or rayon, but it's got that crinkled look. Of course, there's no freaking tag. On the road, have no idea what the size or fabric content is. And it's cute, so that sucks. I'll just put measurements in and take my best guess. I mean, I cannot believe they sent this stuff to me inside out. I mean, not all of it, but you know what I mean. Literally, there's no tag. There's no tag. There's no size. It's like a tiered ruffle peplum baby doll type of tank top. It's floral. There literally is no tags. This is unreal to me. Like, what am I supposed... I, I am so sorry. I'm so mad. This is... The Taurus and me coming out. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? They must have thought that I wanted to buy 100 pounds of bulk clothing that I literally can do nothing with because there's no size, there's no brand, there's no care tag, there's no fabric tag. It's all, everything it has no, I'm going to, literally, I'm going to count. I'm going to count all the pieces that don't have it in comparison to the ones that do. And then I'm going to send them an email. I can deal with holes and stains. Holes, not so much. But stains, okay, I get it. But, like, can't they break it up to where not everyone gets a box that has no brands and no tags? It's not fair. What is this? Oh, my God. This has a tag. Lapine. Dear God. Dear God. Like, what is this? Oh, oh man. Oh man, it's, is it linen? No, it's written in Chinese. I can't. The ones that do have tags are written in Chinese. <sighs> oh, I'm so depressed. I what has it been in here? An Eileen Fisher J Crew. Here's this tag. Completely off. Lucky for me, I know that symbol. That's Jennifer Lopez. But unlucky for me, this is horribly ugly. <sighs> It's this mint green sequin blouse. This stuff's really dated. Lauren Ralph Lauren size small. It's kind of cute. This dated too, but I like those buttons. This is the classic Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's ribbed. Maybe that might sell just because it's ribbed and because it, I feel like that's coming back a bit. Like tucked into those vintage Levi's. Luffy. Parisian. Lafay Parisian. 100% cashmere. So. Big hole. Gap. Factory. Wow. I'm irritated. I'm sure you guys have already clicked off this video. I don't even think there's going to be five pounds in here that I could give away because... I'm not going to give away stuff that doesn't have a freaking size tag. Adidas, extra large. These are cute. These are wild. Just these Adidas pants, track pants with the zipper. Are the, are the zippers broke? No. They have zippers on up here on the bottom. So the leg kind of flares out. Those are a good size too, but they're wild colors. Yeah, I'm not going to give away five pounds of stuff that you guys have don't have any clue what it is. So, I'll have to just find five pounds from my death pile. Um, endless rows. It's new with tags. Extra small. I mean, are we wearing things like this right now? Don't be mad if that's in your box. Okay, Chico's Platinum Denim, size 3. So what is that? Large? It's a gold 
jacket. It's like a metallic gold Chico's jacket. You know, what's funny is I have a really cute Chico's leopard print. Like, it's like white with a metallic gold leopard print pattern and cheetah on the front. That would be cute with that jacket, but I don't know what size that cheetah, Chico's thing is. Okay, I'm yawning because I'm so bored by all this stuff. And I'm sure you guys have done left. <laughs> Kirkland, size small. God forbid it be Lululemon to really cheer me up. It's not. It's just an athletic jacket. It's terrible. Ow, Jen, I hope your box is way better than this. Old Navy, size small. This is so gross. Can you see how gross and dirty and filthy that is? <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's an old navy jean jacket. It needs washed. Desperately. I'm so sad my room was so clean until I did this video and now it's a mess. J. Crew. Large. Ooh, cashmere. Is there a hole? Please, dear God. Yep, there is. Ah. Uh, just when I was excited. Like this is, I'm just amazed by this. I mean, I thought it could be bad, but man. I don't know if you can get any worse than that. I don't think there's anything worse besides holes, like unfixable things, than things that you don't have any clue what they are. Am I right? Leave it down below. I want to know if you think that I'm overreacting. If you think I'm overreacting or, I mean, how is that even fair? I have 100 pounds of stuff and probably 80 pounds of it doesn't have tag names. Okay, nylon acrylic. It's from Dress Barn. No size. It's this like mohair new tag baby blue vest. It's I don't know. Oh my god, there's what is this a two-piece set? <laughs> are these the same? These are the freaking same. English rose, size medium. It's this like really, I mean, this is so heavy. Zipper vest. So that's a medium. Literally, this is the same thing. It's not a skirt. I thought it was a skirt. English rose, size medium. Well, that'd be an easy listing. But I mean, would someone even want that? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Here's another two piece. What? No. <laughs> Is English Rose has to be boutique, right? Tell me I'm I'm right, right? Because I thought I had another two piece set. No, these are the same. English Rose, size small. A blue snakeskin moto vest. English Rose, size small. Blue snakeskin. Modo vest. Easy listings, but I mean, they're not even really that cute. And what is English Rose? I feel like I've heard of it before. This is the brand C. This is cute though. This is like a plaid. What size is this? Extra large. Plaid, sheer sleeve, tie waist, dress. Like this is cute for Christmas. This is really cute. It's like a flowy shirt dress. That's really cute for Christmas pictures. I like that dress. Hopefully there's not a, a giant gaping hole in it. I think that would sell just because it's like Christmas. Okay, American Eagle, size small. Where are you? Okay. Soft and sexy with this fringe. I do really go with American Eagle soft and sexy. And this fringe. And when I say really good, I mean like, you know, it sells, but it does not sell for a ton. But I do make like $18 on my American Eagle shirts. And this has all this fun fringe, so this might do okay. I'm, this might be an $18 tank top. My back is literally dead. Oh, it's new with tags. Okay, beige by ECI. Oh, what is this? Oh, it looks like a creamsicle, don't it? What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's pants. Oh, it's a, oh, that is cute. Look how cute. This is like a 
jumpsuit with these wide pants and this really cute creamsicle color. New with tag. That's good at least. Oh, here's, this is a wedding piece right here. Look at this. Go into the chapel and we're, oh, it's new with tag. New with tag. What is this? This is very wedding like. New with, hmm. extra, extra small. $448 retail. Wow, that's expensive. <laughs> okay. Does anyone want to guess why I'm not so excited? What retails for a ton of money but hardly ever sells? Especially on Poshmark. It's BCBG, Max Azria. So this is like silk, I'm pretty sure. It's brand new with tags. Is this a dress? Look at all this beading. Like, that's a stunner. Open back, or zipper back, I mean, exposed. This is a dress. This is like a, this is, this could be a hundred dollar piece. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I think it's silk. And it's new with tags. And it has a five hundred dollar price tag on it. Oh, crap. Is that stains? Yeah. I think someone wore this and left the tag on it because they were going to return it and they forgot because they got their self-tanner on the inside. Oh, well, I'll just disclose it. Oh, I just stood up and I don't have a bra on. I'm going to have to edit that out. Okay, what are you? Jolt! And these are some paper bag <laughs> joggers in a blush pink color. This is Topshop, US size 6, Topshop. Just a blue dress that's silk, maybe, or polyester. Polyester. Oh, here we go again. Look at this. Oh. This is um, Leaf's Daughter, which that's Anthro. I can't imagine. Size small. That's Lee's daughter's tag. I just can't imagine them selling this wild piece, but who knows? Maybe it, maybe it does good. Okay, Permise Studio. Nothing, nothing that I know. It's a pumpkin rusty orange sweater. What am I doing? I'm throwing everything over there and I have an empty box right in front of me. Full tilt. 100% rayon. That's a cute dress. Like, that's a cute dress for summer. So I might, you know, save that and list it in the summer. Loft, size large. I have this shirt. It's like a little pocket. High low. Yellow blouse. I literally have that for myself. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Oh, there's no tag. Oh, God, it smells. Oh, it's OXXO, whatever that means, but it's a bird shirt. There's a, it's a sheer bird shirt and it ties up there. It smells terrible. Oh, this is heavy. Apple Seeds, XXL. Oh, I know Apple Seeds. I think it's a catalog brand. Oh, this is a really nice black and white striped plus size dress. It's really, so 2X and it's really heavy, heavy cotton. Does that have pockets? It does. And it has pockets. This will sell. This will for sure sell as long as it doesn't have any stains. Apple Seeds is a catalog, I think. A catalog brand. Or I don't know, really. I honestly don't really know, but I have a shirt by Apple Seeds. And it's gotten a lot of attention. Not a shirt, but a cable knit sweater. I think their stuff's really high quality. Anyways, I'm moving on. News, new, Newport News. Wow. I feel like that's been a long time ago, right? 100% cotton made in Macau. Genealogy collection. You guys, you can't make this up. Newport News. I feel like that's something from way long ago. Look at these. 
These are fun. Size, what size did I say? 20? Size 20. They got these ties here, but they're really like, I think maybe that brown is supposed to be there. Either that or these are filthy. Why are you smelling them? They got like a brown discoloration to them. Maybe they're supposed to look like that. Oh, new with tags from Walmart. Time and True. Capri. Mid-rise fitted stretch. What size are these? XL. 16-18. Real floral pattern there. Okay. Forever 21. This is like a goth, lacy, witchy peplum. Lacy. Look at those sleeves. That will sell just because it's very gothic looking. Love a good gothic piece. Okay, gap denim, size small. Oh, this is okay. This is very oversized for a small. And this one doesn't look as half as bad. This will sell. Gap, just a basic jean jacket and it looks good. Okay, what is this? It's ooh, another top shop. US size four. I love the color of this. It's like that baby poop green. You can't really tell. It looks gold in the picture or yellow, but it's like, it's definitely like baby poop green. But that's cute. I like that tank top. Top shop sells almost every time. Is this Athleta? It is. Yay. Okay. Athleta size small. It's just a plain blue workout short, but it has thumb holes. Okay. Okay, what's this? Rock and Republic. What are these? Just to be excited about. Size 12. Okay, maybe. Rock and Republic size 12. And they're like a longer short. It's a good size. Okay, last piece. Praise the Lord. Juicy Couture. Made with love. Size medium. This feels like merino wool. I bet you there's a million holes in it. Or moth holes. This is so soft. What is this made of? It's a sweater dress by Juicy Couture. And oh my gosh, it's 100% cashmere. Well, no wonder it's so soft. There's got to be a hole somewhere. I'm going to find it and I'll let you know. Anyways, it's a gray cashmere long sweater. I feel like it's a sweater dress, but I don't see any holes. I do not see any holes. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? We're gonna have to look closer, but it's cashmere, super soft, kind of pilly. I'm not gonna do pill cashmere because that's the E. There's a hole, I knew it. <laughs> it's right on the freaking sleeve. There she is. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. All right. Oh, well. Oh, is this another piece? Oh, it is. I don't know how we let this slip away. In San Francisco, size medium. Look at that. Wow. Okay. That is it. 56 minutes long. Holy cow. That box um, sucked almost as bad as the first one. I, like I said, I'm never gonna do this again. This was a complete waste of $300. I'll be lucky to make my money back on the few pieces that I can actually sell. So on that note, go over and watch Jen's video. Now I will tell you, all you have to do for this giveaway, five pounds, hers might be from her, her box, but I will just come up with five pounds of various things. Some new tags, some not, blah, blah, blah. It's free. It's just a way of saying thanks for watching both our videos and subscribing to both our channels. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Two winners, five pounds each. We're going to announce the winner next Wednesday. We'll DM you on Instagram. So here's what you got to do. You got to follow me on Instagram, follow Jen on Instagram, subscribe to her channel, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below with your Instagram handle in it. And that way we can... You know, like, yeah, you're subbed or whatever. And then that way we know. So just comment your Instagram handle as your comment. You can say whatever you want. But that's where we'll get a hold of you. So you have to follow on Instagram and here in order to win. 
we'll use some type of random gen generator and next Wednesday we will announce on Instagram who the winners are of the five pound boxes. Thank you so much for watching. <sighs> I love you guys. That was rough. Whew. That was rough. That was rough. Thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> I promise my next video will be happier. If you came from Jen's channel, thanks again for watching. I hope you subscribe. Stick around. We have fun here. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Love you, Jen. Thanks for doing this video with me. <laughs> A little bit of a rough one. Uh, my second box, spoiler alert, never showed up. It never showed up. So I don't have another 50 pound box to unbox.